What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug and I'm back again with my Ninja Foodie One Lid. Big up to the company Jalisto for sending me this birra sauce. They saw my video on YouTube and they reached out to me and they wanted to send this out to me. And I, I so do appreciate it. And actually, I'm going to send one bottle to one of my favorite um, subscribers and members of my fa uh, Facebook group. She doesn't even know I'm going to send it. But I want to apologize in advance. For some reason, when I shot this video, a lot of the clips were cor uh, corrupted. And so um, some of the scenes you won't be able to see for some reason. I have to check that out. I was on TikTok the other day and I noticed that Jalisto they did a video making some beer legs and thighs in an instant pot and i said wow what a great idea but i said to myself we're gonna do it but we're gonna take it to the next level doug style in the ninja foodie smart lid and shout out to my pot heads out there meaning my instant pot peeps i'm using my stainless steel insert because i can I got it off of Amazon a couple years ago. I'll leave the link in the description. It's just the flexibility of this machine. You could use the ceramic pot that it comes with, or you can use the stainless steel that you bought. I'm gonna add a half a cup of water, and then I'm just gonna dump the bag in there. Woo, that's smelling good. All right, guys, let's go ahead and space everything out. Not space everything out, but just give room when needed. And good thing about pressure cooking, guys, as opposed to air frying, you when you're pressure cooking, you can stack your meats on top of each other with no room at all, and it will cook just fine. Unlike, you know, air frying, you have to space it out, or certain pieces won't, certain um, areas of the meat or whatever won't get cooked as well as the others. You, you, you get the point. All right, let's close this up. All right, guys, let's get it on. Well, first, let me slide to the left. Hit power. So I'm pressure cook. We'll leave it on high, of course. Now, normally, if like if I was pressure cooking this on a rack with the liquid below it, I would do it for about nine minutes. But since it's submerged in the liquid, we're just going to do seven minutes with a natural release of 10 minutes. All right. So we're going to go ahead and hit start. I'm going to turn my valve up here to seal. Don't forget to do that. And it will be it's preheating right now. And I'll be back when it gets to pressure. Now, I know some of you are thinking, Doug, you let it marinate for four hours. Why wouldn't you just air fry and be done? And I could do that, but there's something about pressure cooking meats. First of all, it will be more tender than air frying. Now, air frying would do it perfect, but it will be juicy, juicier and more tender in the inside. And that's why we're going to air fry it when we're done um, so that the outside can get a little crispness to it, a little char thing going. But most importantly, when you pressure cook, the, the flavors infuse into your meats more so than any other way of cooking. Well, I guess slow cooking, but this is the fastest way to get the most flavor in your meats, by, and that's pressure cooking. So that's why I'm doing it. I want it super moist and tender in the inside by pressure cooking it and giving that char crispiness on the outside by air frying it afterwards. And we can do it all in one shot with this Ninja Smart Lid. Now you can do this. I mean, if you got an Instant Pot, you could do this and then transfer it to your air fryer. That, you can do that too. But this does it all in one with one lid. And there you have it. I'm going to tell you right now, my kitchen smells absolutely fantastic. And we didn't even get the pressure yet. Alright guys, we are at pressure. The countdown has begun, 
and I'll be back in under seven minutes. And remember, we're not going to manually release. We're going to do a natural release of 10 minutes. And then we're going to um, air fry it. All right. So I'll be back in under seven, though. All right. 10 minutes is up. We're going to manually release the pressure now. You know, I bet I still have viewers and subscribers that still feel in 2023 that they're going to blow up by pressure cooking. And you're not. Watch. See? No big deal. It's hot. Yeah, if I kept my hand there for 20 seconds, it probably would burn. But no big deal. It's not like it's lava, guys. I'm alive. <laughs> All right, guys. This is what we're looking like. Just a total of what 17 minutes let's get it out of here all right guys so i'm gonna transfer them man it's it's ready to fall off i'm scared to, to handle it because it's so tender right now and guys make sure you rotate them before you air fry them so they're nice and juicy Like I said, I'm gonna broil it, so I'm gonna put it down to broil. That's locked at 450. 10 minutes is what we want. I'm gonna hit start. I found this in the sauce, this piece of chicken. It's floating by itself. You have the first bite of it. You got it? I'm gonna try it. Oh, oh man. Oh man. This is gonna be good. All right, guys, it's time to whip out the gadgets. This is a gravy separator, and link will be in the description. This separates the oil from the gravy. This is really good for um, pot roast. And see, I have to do this, guys. I know I repeat myself often. I get inflammation from all, you know, from too much grease. So show you so by doing this not to worry about that you see that top layer the dark that's all oil and the rest is straight gravy no mess either guys all right guys so five minutes have passed I'm gonna flip these over and give it another five minutes got my rice cooker in the house y'all one cup of Uncle Ben's rice. One cup of gravy. Got some mixed vegetables, guys. This could be you guys. Link will be in the description. Rice is done. Added some turmeric, cilantro, white onions. Yeah. You think I'm done cooking yet? Wrong. with some salt I did this to both sides guys well, let's close it down I'm gonna air fry this for about 10 12 minutes that was actually eight minutes on broil I'm ready to whip up a plate this could be you guys Shout out to my viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before my video is even finished. I appreciate that. All right, guys. You saw the paper towel go up. 
It means it's time to eat. First, let's analyze. Would you look at this? This could be you, man. You get, you, you get the first bite. You got it? All right. Mmm. Just melted in my mouth. Too much flavor. That beer sauce is everything. You gotta try this, guys. It is too good. Mmm. The chicken so tender. Moist. Perfectly seasoned. This is too good. I have some of this rice. You got it? Mmm. Very good. Some plantains. Can't have more than one. Mmm. You get the first bite. You got it? Mmm. Now this melted in my mouth for real. I mean it's just so I, I can't see it just comes right apart. This could be you, man. Man, this is so good. Have some avocado with me. Mm. So good. Let's try and have some chicken and some rice. Mm. Nah, that's good. Have a swig with me, guys. Nice and cold. Again, guys, I'm going to leave a link in the description to this. This is absolutely fantastic, guys. Absolutely fantastic. Well, another easy cook in my Ninja Foodie One Lid. I'll leave a link in the description to this device. It does so many other things other than pressure cook and air fry. Check it out for yourself. You and your family will enjoy this machine. Trust me. So check that link out. And I did a few videos on this machine, actually. I probably did about eight or nine so far. Something like that. But anywho, I'll leave everything that I did um, in the description so you can follow along. This meal was absolutely fantastic. You got to try it. Too much flavor. And, you know, your family, once they take a bite of that chicken, they're going to be like, what is this? I'm telling you, it's really, really good. 